Australian cities are dominated by cars. Making cycling and walking more accessible and safer can reduce congestion and carbon emissions and free up space in our cities. It's also a healthier, cheaper and more efficient way of getting around. Most of the car trips taken in cities are short enough to walk or cycle, so there's huge scope to reduce car use and shift to these alternatives. But to do so, we need more investment in active transport infrastructure. Things like protected bicycle paths, more road space and walk friendly streets. We've just released our annual Climate of the Nation report and it found that most Australians want to see a shift in the Australian transport system from being car centric and fossil fuel dependent to one that prioritises public transport, cycling and walking. The United Nations recommends that at a minimum, 20% of government transport spending should go to active transport. Our research asked Australians how much they think should go towards active transport, and on average, they agree that 20% is a good proportion. However, current government expenditure on active transport lags far behind this. Policies that make it easier to purchase an electric bike are really popular too. Three fifths, 62% of Australians support a national subsidy scheme that provides rebates for buying bikes, e-bikes or cargo bikes for work purposes. Three fifths support making current subsidies and tax incentives for EVs available for e-bikes and cargo bikes too. And the vast majority support modifying and designing streets to encourage walking for people of all ages and abilities. To reduce transport emissions, we need to improve the efficiency of the transport system, shift to more environmentally friendly types of transport like public transport, walking and cycling, and electrify cars, buses and trucks. Governments can enact these policies knowing they're backed by the vast majority of Australians.